Hey guys, welcome back to the Sensor Pop channel. What we have for you today is we're going to talk about DAC profile and we're going to talk about the DAC profile together with a very different leader. So, um, I think you can see from the cover and from the title of this video, we are going to talk about the Maiden engine and we're going to play it together with Champa leader. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight to the deck list and then after that at the end of the video I'm going to talk about how the synergy works together with uh, the, the leader and why I believe that this is such a great deck and it brings much spice to the table. All right. So auto once per turn when your battle card attacks a leader card if the attacking card has 15k of more, you draw a card. And so he is one of the leaders that allows you to draw a card on his unawakened side if you fulfill a certain criteria. Of course, you, right now we have so many of them that attacks a leader card that you draw a card. But the difference between the two is that when you get four or less, when you flip over, you do draw two cards instead of untapping two energy. But if that is your thing, it's good. If not, um, this allows you to draw two cards more so he has a very aggressive card draw that's something that i like and he does something for your maidens which the maiden engine lacks a lot which is on his uh, awakened side also when this card attacks draw a card of course activate main you can place one card from your hand into the drop area and then you choose you choose either this card or one of your battle cards and it gains double strike for the duration of the turn. So one of the things that Maiden Engine really lacks of is the ability to double strike. They are all single striker. And uh, so I really was trying to find a way to give the Maiden double strike. And then this leader comes to mind, which is a uh, fellow player was just telling me, why don't try with the Champa leader? And when we put it together, it was working so well. Take note that his ability is alt, uh, activate main. That means you can activate more than once and give your maidens double strike. And so it really hurts your opponent if that's the case. So let's put it right here and let's go through the red, uh, the red cards first. We're gonna play red and green. The first one, of course, for super combos. For saying Kappas to help you to awaken if you need to. And of course, when you attack, you can activate his main ability to get the 15k. You swing for double strike, you draw a card on his um, unawakened side. And when your opponent swings at you, you could also play this. Bring him out on the field. The next, It saves you one life and the next turn when you swing, you draw a card also. Of course, if you're playing red, you play four copies of your other super combos. I usually use them early when I have energy. I don't bring it to the back because during the end of the game, a lot of times you are running out of energy and you need it for your negate or need it for something. So this is when I would use it because there is no real real thing to keep this guy uh, to awaken this guy because you can draw the card when you are unawakened so you take your time just bite your time defend and defend and defend keep your life high give your opponent a lot of problems you buy time to set up your engine and one of the good part about playing red is that we could play Vados assistance to restand one of your card that you cannot restand which is uh, your leader Rebrian because when she attacks, she does not restand. Uh, Kakunza has dual attack, so she can come out. She can comes out if you just hit it one time. Rosie will come out at the end of the turn. Vados will help you to restand your Rebrian just to make sure to keep your engine alive. Now we go to the green cards. We play four copies of uh, Zabuto, the Maiden's Attendance. We play four copies of uh, uh, Bandaga. This is one of your best card. He is a blocker. He is a free blocker if you have any Universe 2 on, on board. So he helps you to um, buy time. He's uh, basically a free negate. And also we play four copies of everything. Everything starts with this, right? So she helps you to search for your uh, maidens that you do not have in your hands. And at the same time that uh, she is a barrier. So she is a permanent evolved target. 
Um, my advice is never play her as a uh, energy because if you have two on board, what you can do is she helps you to search out the, the other maidens and at the same time you get to evolve uh, maybe to uh, Rebrian on top of her. We play four copies of Rosie, um, Maiden Squadron Rosie, and she's a really good card because uh, if Kakunza and also Rebrian is on the board, she can restand at the end of the turn. So she's a 20k blocker that essentially restands and you can attack with her. We play four copies of Maiden Squadron Kakunza and she's a critical and if Rebrian and Rosie is in play in your battle area, this lady gains a dual attack so you could swing two times. If you have Maiden Transformation in your hands, swing two times because next turn she's gonna come back anyway. But if you do not have it, I swing it one time just to restand so that um, we, we at least keep her on the board. We play four copies of the Big Mama herself, uh, Maiden Squadron Lady uh, Leader Rebrian. And when this card, when it evolves into this card, so you choose, you get to pop, she has two auto, right? The first auto is that for three energy, when you evolve on top of, um, huh? Yep. What you do is that your you choose one of your opponent's battle card and KO it. And also, if this card attacks and Kakunza and Rosie are in the battle area, you choose two cards from your opponent's hands and remove them and put them in the drop area. So really great card, it grinds the opponent slowly. And the thing to finish it off, it's the Maiden Transformation. So what it does is that it brings two of your Maidens, four or less, from your drop area to come back. So when what this guy does is that it, it he allows you to drop a card to gain double strike on one of your guy, one of your leaders. So for example, oh, I will talk about it later. I'm so excited. And uh, two copies of Activate Main. I almost once want to take this one out and play something like Revenge, uh, surprise, surprise attack, right? The surprise attack Vegeta. But honestly, this is a really good card to play with. Your, your your maidens because it can bring out one of your maidens out if you do not have her uh, most importantly he this card can also bring her out you can say okay i don't get to evolve because i don't get to pop your opponent's card but you still get to rip two cards from your opponent's hand fr just from this card alone so it's a pretty good card all right let's talk about the how i'm playing it itself so at the start I don't really care if I, I have 8 life or I want to go s awaken, right? What I do is I really was, I always try to have cards like this in your hands, in my hands, and this in my hands. Because when, when this thing starts, especially your turn 1, you have an open energy and then your opponent swings at you and usually they expect you to take, especially on turn 1, right, which is your opponent's turn 1 or the, the first turn that someone could hit. You have always an open energy because there's very little turn 1 play and I advise you not to play turn 1. When your opponents attack, tap 1, combo. You're still at 8 life, you have this guy, this guy comes out, swing at his leader and you draw a card your, the next turn. So it's about setting it up. And then if you do not have this guy and this guy is gone the next turn, comes out, swing and you draw a card. So there's a lot of situations that allows you to draw a card with him, especially, okay, again, the next turn where he swings, it comes out, swing, and you draw a card again. And whenever this guy is on the board, or this guy is on the board, right, let's see, whenever these two guys are on the board, what it does is that it also does another thing, which is your opponent, instead of swing at your leader, which brings your life down, and you have to waste uh, maybe resources just to combo out of it, it also helps you to uh, take damage because they have to use their battle card to do something about this or they have to bring out something to pop this, right? And whenever you have energy that you can defend, play this. The reason why it's because um, you remember, because of his ability that he can draw cards with your battle, with your battle cards, so don't need to awaken. Awakening is good with him because you flip the two cards, but then there is there is literally no rush to awaken this guy. 
all right? It's one of your resources to use to defend yourself. Okay, let's talk about um, his awakened side. What can you do with this guy? So imagine you have this on the board, right? And what you can do is that you can drop a card like this into a drop area, give her double strike. Then um, maybe you have also this in the drop area already. What you can do is you can maiden transformation, bring them out so you set your combos ready. So your combos are done. You have the, 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 the three of them out. This lady has double strike and then you can proceed to drop another card, for example, and give her double strike. So she becomes a critical dual attack double striker. And especially if you have another one of this in your hands. So she swings for double strike, take two cards away from the guy's hands, swing again for double strike. Or you could do this, double strike, make him waste card just to, because the difference between the, the two swings, right? So let's take Rosie out. The difference between the two of them is that this, they will waste the cards that they don't need to prevent themselves from taking the critical damage because they don't gain card advantage in their hands. So they will waste the cards that they don't need. So you swing one time, 20k. If you want to combo something like this on top of it, it's still fine. And so it gives it 20k critical double strike. So they really don't want to take this. So they will, crit they will try to combo out by using cards in their hands that they don't need to take it out. Swing again, cards that they don't need, they will use it to uh, combo themselves out of it. Then swing with this. So they already reduce their hand size with the cards they don't need uh, or not that critical just to prevent themselves from taking the damage from her. And they will be looking forward to take the damage from her. So their hand size is already being reduced by her. And then you get to pick the rest of the cards that he chooses to keep it in his hands with this. So it depends on how you want to play it. But usually I love to do this, this, then this. So he reduces hand size for me. And then swing, you get to draw a card. So it works really well with this whole engine. And, uh, and of course, Remember, this is not once per turn. This is activate main. So if you have two Kakunza, go for it. Double striking critical, double striking critical, double striking critical, double striking critical. This is going to be so painful at the end. And you could do this in turn five. I know turn five, it's a lot, but you are very defensive at the first turn at, at, the, at the start. So I hope that you can survive because you don't have to rush to self to awaken him. All right. So I hope you enjoyed. This is deck profile. I really have a lot of fun playing with this deck. I hope you enjoyed it and um, we see each other next time. Alright, ciao, bye.